Right then, it's activation phase three. So again, we're starting off with the Black Squadron pilot, and he's gone for a sharp turn number one to the right. So we need number one sharp turn, please. Number one sharp turn. There you go. Okay. Oops. Catch, catch. Bottom fingers. Oh, is that? A, I've got a, You've just clipped. Yep, your I've own clipped. There, I've so clipped no me. actions for that. Film. No action for him. So let's move that out of the way. Next, it is Night Beast. What can Night Beast do? Pull out the bag. He's going for a green gentle turn. So hopefully the Millennium Falcon is not going to go too far and we're going to be able to shoot in him. Again, that's a green action for Night Beast. So that is a free focus and he's also going to evade. Okay. Dark Curse is next. And he's also going for a gentle turn too. Yep, there we go. And he's going to focus. And finally, it is Mauler Miffle, who is going to perform a flip turn free. So, hopefully we've got enough card to get past the Millennium Falcon. We don't, do we? No, we don't. Oh, so mis misjudged we... that, so I am not moving at all very far. Just there. It was a red manoeuvre, so I get the stress market. And I don't turn around because I've collided with his base. So now it is the uh, Rebel turn, so we've got to sign up what the Millennium Falcon's doing. He's doing a sharp turn two, which okay. is to this direction. Right, I'll see. If As you I turn perform. it around. Now, the problem now I've got is that I may have made a mistake here with the Millennium Falcon's huge base size, and it might well be that I can't perform any actions either. So let's have a look at how this is going to line up. No, you don't need to do that. I'm not going to move anywhere because I'll overlap at the end. So. Millennium Falcon stays there and cannot perform any actions either. Yes, and I can also can't shoot Mauler Miffle, and neither can Mauler Miffle shoot him. But, start the combat phase, because of Mauler Miffle's damage card, I have to roll an attack dice on myself. Luckily, I didn't roll a hit. Oh. So, shooting. Uh, Han Solo is highest point at skill, so he shoots first, and he has got three possible targets. Right, much as I would have liked to have shot the one dead in front of me and continue piling on the damage, I can't because we are touching bases. However, with my beautiful 360 degree field of fire, I may target pretty much anything I like. We've got a couple of options in range one, so I think it'd be foolish not to go for range one. I'm going to go for... Night Beast. Night the Beast being, is this one here, guys. The reason being, I've used him myself in games. I know how much of a pain he can be to get rid of. So I better start early. Right. I have three attack dice, but I'm in range one. So I have a fourth bonus one. Right here. I need a fourth bonus attack dice. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Prepared as always, guys. Oh, we have one hit. Now, I do not like that at all, so I'm going to use Han Solo's pilot ability and re-roll the whole lot of them. Okay, so let's see what, what Han Solo can do. Han oh. Solo has turned that to a critical. It's an improvement. It is an improvement. I will take however, that. However, Might Beast does have three dodge dice, so doesn't manage to draw any dodges, but he does have focus, so we're going... Oh, he's actually got evade, so we'll spend one evade counter to cancel out that hit. What a shame. Yep, so it would be Mauler Miffle shooting, but he can't shoot because he's touching bases. Next, it is Dark Curse, and let's check the range, guys. Excuse my arm in the shot. Let's get the green dice, green side up first. Oh, we're still range at range two, two uh, which means I've just got the red, two red dice. So that's. Oh, that is one hit, and it is a critical hit. Right, I'm going to use my green defence dice then. I have not defended it, which means oh I would take a critical hit card, which means face up. However, instead I'm going to discard the Chewbacca card, which says, when I'm dealt a damage card, I may immediately discard it and yep. recover one shield. Very good, so, so that is now discarded. Chewbacca's... Chewbacca is gone, and I gain a shield back as well into the bargain. Fantastic. Well worth four points. Yep. Okay, Especially so as that would have been a critical. Yes, indeed. Right then, next in the pecking order is... 
No, it says uh, it's Night Beast, and he is at range one. So three dice this time, and he has oh dear for for the Millennium Falcon. We've got one critical and two focus results, and I do have a focus card on him too. So I'm going to spend that to convert them into two more hits. So we got two hits and one critical hit. Right. Well, let's see. One defense dice which does not help me because I don't have any focus on. So I'm now going to lose that shield to an ordinary hit as you yep. have to cancel yep. normal ones out first. And we've got one normal hit, so he deals one face down card and one critical, so one face up. Let's take a look at the face up. This is a direct hit card, which is damage to the ship. This card counts as two instead of one against oh my Oh dear, hull. so that's three, three damage. Three off my hull. My hull value is eight, but it's now five. Oh dear. Millennium okay. Falcon is trailing smoke now and in a pretty bad way. Right then, and we now have also got one more ship to fire. We've got the Black Squadron pilot. He's just got arc. If we get over here, guys. Oh no, maybe not. Oh no, he doesn't have arc. My bad. No arc for him, so a narrow escape for the Millennium Falcon there. And we're next into planning T's, so we'll be back in a second. Right guys, we're back to activation turn. This is turn four, so we're starting off again with Black Squadron Pilot, and he's gone for a sharp turn one. And hopefully we'll be able to perform this manoeuvre without hit, getting too much in the way with uh, Molo Miffle. So, there we go. Yep. Oh, and of course I'm not. Right. <laughs> and now we'll go for focus. We're going to go for focus. We're going to be brave. Right, next is Night Beast over there at the back. And I think, oh, that's not going to work, is it? Sharp turn two. That's yeah, here. that's right on top of the Millennium Falcon. Uh, I think. You're going to basically hit its base. Yeah, so, so you're going to bet so that we're, far. Yep, yeah, and we can there stop you. there. No action from Night Beast. And then next, it is Dark Curse. He's gone for a five forward. Next to you. Yep. Yeah. If we can get the marker in there. Yep, there we go. And finally, we've got Mona Miffle. If we can pick the card over. And he's gone for a two straight forward. It's green manoeuvre. Now, that I can't perform that because I'm already touching his base. But it is a green manoeuvre, so I can take the stress marker off. Mm -hmm. So... Um, We're on to the Millennium Falcon movement. So. One other thing, though. Are you still under the effects of that damage card? Uh, yeah, but that's the shooting phase. That's shooting phase, is it? Okay, interesting. My manoeuvre, then, for Millennium Falcon is a straightforward four. As I don't have to worry about which way I'm facing to shoot at him. Am I going to be undone by my large base size this time? Nope, you... No, I think not. I'm home and clear there. Which is good, because I cannot do a straightforward five manoeuvre. I only go four. Here we go. That's any right. any manoeuvres there? Uh, right, actions, let me see. All right, that's, that's the word of bent. Uh, I think, seeing as I'm taking an absolute hammering from the firing at the moment, I'm going to put um, an evade action on myself, which I've bought for one point using the Millennium Falcon upgrade card. Okay, so we'll be back in a second, guys, with the next shooting. Right then, it's turn four shooting. So, as usual, Millennium Falcon is shooting first. So who are you going for? I'm going to go for uh, this one right behind me, which I believe is Dark Curse. Yep, so Dark Curse is the target of, the, of Han Solo's wrath. Okay. So he's at range one, so the extra red dice. So Here we go. Then. Oh, two hits and that's it. One of which, right. is, one one of which, which is, critical. is critical. Now, I yep. could re-roll a lot, but I think with that set of results, I think I'm going to leave it as it is. So, Dark Curse. It's a three green. Oh, no dodge. So, one of each. So, um, gets one face down. So, that's one. Oh, and then one face up. So, what have we got? Oh. Reduce your primary weapon value by one. To a minimum of zero. An action, roll an attack dice and a one of uh, a so hit or a critical hit, roll up, flip the card face down. So we can resolve that to get him back shooting properly. So 
Now we're on to the Imperial shooting. Um, very luckily for the um, Millennium Falcon, there's only one ship who can shoot uh, the Millennium Falcon, and it is in fact Night Beast, your bane. So, Night Beast, what range are we at? Uh, we're at range. Hmm, range 3 just. So, two red for Night Beast. And he has two focus results and no focus on him, so no hits, and it's over to the next planning phase. Dan's memory failure roll. <laughs> right, console fire for Mona Myth. Also, I've got to roll my red attack dice, see if I take any damage. He doesn't, that's an evade, so no damage for that yet. So, thankfully, we'll carry on with the rest of the shooting. Right, it's turn 5 activation again, so now we've got um, Black Squadron Pilot going first again, and what have we gone for? A gentle turn number 3, and it's going that way. That way being the way that I'm currently, I'm not saying, because it's upside down, but trust me, it's that way. <laughs> right then, and he's action. What action can he do? Shall we do a... Uh... Have you done that one? No. Oh. No, I, I don't think I don't think you placed it. I think you were you were absentmindedly twirling it and then you didn't place it. Thank you. Memory loss there. Right. I did the right maneuver there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> you did, but you it looked wrong because you were filming it from the other direction. Yeah. Yeah. Right then it's You, ne you next... just made the comment on the film. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right then but we're just... Carrying on with the uh, activation phase, so next is Night Beast, and he's gone for a gentle turn to the right, and it's number two. So, can we get Night Beast in this time to get his manoeuvre? Looks like we've got a good possibility. There is a gap there, lovely jubbly. It is a green manoeuvre, so Night Beast does get his free focus, and he's also going to evade in case any National Millennium Falcon decides to shoot him. So, uh, would next... Would I do that? Of course you would. Okay, next it is Dark Curse. So Dark Curse has been a curse for Millennium Falcon and he's gone for a two gentle turn to the right. I've taken a risk here so because if I go off the board I am destroyed. Ah no, I'm safe. Easily safe there. Miles of space. Oh, get it in the shot. There we go. And nudge it a bit. Yes, nudge it. That's what we meant to do. Of course we did. And uh, we're going for focus, focus for the win. Then finally, it is Mauler Miffle. What has Mauler Miffle done? Mauler Miffle has gone for a sharp turn two. So we get the sharp turn two marker. Do you want me to move him for you? Yes, please. Okay, here we go. Spin you out. Yeah. And for his action, he's going to deal with his console fire, so he flips that face down. So it's no longer effect. Okay, well, as uh, you just heard Deathbringer mention, if you go off the board, you're dead. Now, with a base the size of mine, it's a real concern. So I had to be very careful when picking this manoeuvre. So I've been a bit more cautious and gone for a sharp turn too. There was a bit of guesswork here because I was trying to predict where his ships would be after he'd finished doing his manoeuvres. But I can see that it looks like I'm going to have to put myself right in the path of at least one of them. Is that lined up for me? Yep, that's lined up. Very nice of Okay, now I'm allowed to perform an action. If I wanted to, I could do a boost now, but that would only get me a straight one token further forward in any direction. But it may take you out of range. It may take me out of range of that one, but I'm not sure it would get me out of range one of that one as well. Let me think. It's only, a little, it's only one, isn't it? I think instead I shall play an evade on myself. Okay. I think I'm well, going to need it at some point. Evade cut mark placed. I'll be back in a bit with uh, the shooting. Okay. It's my turn to shoot first because Han Solo has the highest pilot skill level. Um, looking at my options here, I've got one that looks like he's very definitely in range one. I have one behind me who's probably in range two, so no special bonuses. And then the other two who are most likely out of range and in range free. As I want to maximise the damage I can, even though I don't think that this black squadron pilot that's right next to me has taken any damage thus far, I'm going to go for him because I can roll an extra attack dice. Okay. So, 
Okay. Oh, two hits. Two oh. ordinary hits and a nothing and a nothing. I'm going to gamble and use Han Solo to re-roll the whole Okay, lot. so we go for the entire re-roll. If you've got it, why not use it? Oh. Oh dear, the gamble has not paid off. One hit. So, get the free green dice for the tie. Oh, oh, nearly, very nearly just one dodge though. So that's cancelled out. And on to the, onto the Imperial shooting. Highest pilot skill is Morlin Miffle over there, but he is definitely out of arc. Next is Dark Curse, again out of arc. And next we're on to Night Beast. Keep it in the fight. But what range are we at? Oh, is that range 2 or is that range 3? Just range 3 guys, so you can't just see it under the falcon. That was good guesswork from me. Let me get the 2 red. 1 hit. I get a bonus defence dice. Well, he has got focus. So he's going to spend his focus to convert one of the, that into a hit. Oh dear. Bonus defence dice for being at range 3. Oh no. However, I can spend my token so it's to avoid a, that. A fade token spent, one damage taken. One damage taken, so I now have an extra damage card on me. And lastly, uh, is Black Squadron Pilot, the rookie of the group, is going to unload on... Probably onto... kill me outright, because the rookie pilot... So, extra dice. Oh, two critical hits. This is not looking good. Not looking good for the Molly defense. And not, not evaded, so... Doesn't help me at all there. Two. So, two criticals. Two critical hits. Take them both. I'm going to turn them at the same time and see all the bad news. Here we go. Minor hull breach. After executing a red manoeuvre, I have to roll a one attack dice. And if I get an explosion... I suffer one damage. And another one hitting the ship. I cannot perform the actions listed in my action bar. And there's another action listed on the card. Roll one attack dice. And on a explosion result, flip this card face down. So I can get rid of this, yep. but I do risk taking damage. So at the moment, I may not perform any of my actions. I may not perform a dodge action, I may not perform a target lock, and I may not perform focus. I also may not use boost. Okay. That's under turn five guys, so we're back in a second after we've done our planning.